An open letter to the President of the United States, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Dear Mr. President, Lately, a number of people seeking high public office in America have confessed to their recreational use of drugs in the 60s. In a similar spirit of candor, I feel it is my duty also, as a public radio commentator, to come clean. Item 1. I did experiment with marijuana. In 1965, I took two drags off a hookah pipe being passed around my college dormitory. Since marijuana can lead to a loss of short-term memory, I'm not certain how often this casual use of mine went on, but it was undertaken purely in a spirit of experimentation, and I assure you, it will never happen again. I gotta stop this. Item two. I did experiment with LSD in 1966 when it was a legal research tool in human brain physiology. Though my use of it on the one, or possibly one dozen occasions I took it, was purely experimental, it did induce powerful delusions that all people are one and that love is all you need, which rendered me incapable of applying to business school or appreciating American military adventures overseas, and I deeply regret its use. <laughs> Bottoms up, John. Item three, I have experimented with alcohol. I was introduced to it in 1961 by my uncle Elmer, who had a fifth of something called a Highland Nectar squirreled away in his closet, and who gave me a swig the day I turned 16. This was followed six months later by two screwdrivers at my cousin Carol's wedding reception in New Rochelle, where apparently I proposed marriage to a stranger while she was sitting next to her boyfriend. Hey, get out of here! Oh! This experience made me realize how dangerous even casual experimentation with alcohol can be, and how reckless any commercial is that portrays drinking as a source of good, clean fun, or a solution to insecurity. Given its status as a national elixir, I realize these attitudes toward alcohol are unpatriotic, and I am working on them and trying to get in line. Nevertheless, I hope it's clear that on the whole, I am free, not only of the drugs of my youth, but of its passion, idealism, and commitment to social change, and have so proved myself as qualified as any other candidate you've considered for high office lately, and that you and your people will be kind enough to keep me in mind the next time an opening for head of the CIA, chief of the presidential staff, or associate justice of the Supreme Court comes up. Yours soberly and sincerely, Tony Khan.